Came in perspective, respect is so accepted. We are back. All ball reaction. Deja un like, un comentario, y suscribe. Que tu quiere, tu jere, they say she blow la la. And she my baby mama. That's the only Spanish I know. Share, like, comment, subscribe. All ball reaction. Let's go, baby. Gotta get in, right into this one. I love, people hate this. The young, the young whippersnappers, they always accuse us of being old and bitter. Right. Well, I love when the old bitter players come out and talk, they talk. Exactly. Shaq just came out and called out on, on Joel Embiid and basically said, get on my level because you ain't on it, ain't wow. been on it. Wow. Watch this. Let's hear. I'm going to read two guys' stats, and I want to know who you'd pick. 35, 12, 6, and 2. The other one, 30, 14, 4, and 3. I'm going to go with the uh, 35. That is Joel Embiid's season this year. And the second one was your best season with the Lakers. But you forgot. What? I did that with four motherfuckers on me. He don't get double. <laughs> times that <laughs> times four. I averaged 120 points, motherfucker. <laughs> He's reached the point now where everyone just says, show it to me in the playoffs. I'm going to give it to him like Kareem gave it to me. Wow. He should take it as disrespectful because that's how I took it. But later talking to Kareem, I wasn't being disrespectful. I was being factual. I was averaging big numbers with LA. And this article really broke my heart. They asked Kareem, what do you think about Shaq? And Kareem says, well, he hasn't won any championships yet. So that's my message to Mr. B. Like, we know what you can do, but can you do it at the big dance? Wow. Wow. Can I please go first? Oh, of course. I, I love what Shaq said. Let me explain why. There's no dominance in the NBA today. None. How are you the biggest, strongest Way the most in the NBA and you're not dominant. Imagine Shaq today with only three probably centers that can physically maybe, maybe get in his way just to get ran over. Shaq would average 40. He would average wilt numbers. And you got to respect what he's saying. Yo, bro, I understand these guys is getting numbers, but look at the numbers I was getting. And I had, four. like, if you go to youtube and type in Shaq, and you see what he had to go through with guys hanging on his arm hanging on his back man listen richard jefferson said it best there's nothing you can do with him nothing and he's getting triple team these guys not even getting double team listen man i love Shaq, and i'm gonna tell you why when he talks basketball because he is the bitter old man and he has a right to be because you guys are getting props for something that you're not doing. You're not dominant. So how are we calling you dominant? The numbers you're putting up is against small forwards and power forwards. Let's be realistic. Ain't then them guys turn themselves into power forwards. Listen, man, this is why guys like Embiid every year should be MVP in championship contention. I'm, I'm just saying. If you got that skill set, if you're supposed to be dominant, listen, there's nobody to compare to Shaq. There's only one person, maybe, and that's Wilt Chamberlain. Not Kareem, not Hakeem. When we talking dominance, and think about this before I let you go. Shaq ain't shooting no three-pointers. Shaq ain't even have the freedom these guys have today. So once again, I understand where Shaq is coming from. It's like, bro, I want to see y'all be dominant. I want to see you be great. That 35 you're getting, you're not even getting to the conference finals or to the finals. And I did that with four guys hanging on my back. So from all ball to everybody, miss me with dominance. There's no, there's no dominance in the NBA today. There's none. You know why? Because nobody guards their position. Y'all got Giannis at the five. You telling me if Shaq was in the league today, Giannis could guard Shaq? Come on. You, you get what I'm saying, Faye? Yeah. Like yeah. so, so these got these guys is getting away and a and it's a new day. I get it, but like I said, sometimes I could be the old man sitting on the stoop with the screen door. Hey, get off my stoop! But sometimes we talking factual. There's no true sinners in the league. You think Joker can guard Shaq? You think Rudy Gobert can guard Shaq? Listen, man, your thoughts on what Shaq said? Barbecue chicken. Um, 
we always refer to the old guys as bitter when they have a gripe or when they want to just speak their mind. Because it's always babies and old guys that, you know, they do the most outlandish stuff, like uh, reactionary, right? right? But a lot of you young guys are bitter. How about that? Why are you guys so bitter? How are you bitter at 20 years old, 25 years old, 16 years old? What the hell are you bitter about? Because I vocalize whatever it is. You know, it's funny. I'm getting more grades in my beard, right? And I remember when the older people used to tell me, you'll be counting your blessings if you get to my age. Trust me. Like, damn. Whatever, old man. I used to be the same way. I used to be the same way as you guys. Evolution. No way. New current players. They'll kill the old players. Ain't nothing like Shaq, man. Let's get this straight. Ain't nothing like Shaq in the history of the NBA. Talk about it all the time. Michael Jordan changed the game because they, they changed the rules for him. For him. Will Chamberlain told him that when they would used to go back and forth. Right. Will Chamberlain said they changed the rules against him to stop him. Same thing with Shaq. They completely got rid of the center. I'm going to be a broken record. They completely got rid of the Shaqs of the world and every any seven-footer who was that big and could move like that. Yep. Why? Because it was boring to everybody. It was Goliath, and there was no David. There wasn't no David. It was nobody to stop him. And it was the rules, right? They put the zone in there. Now they wanted to put more, more perimeter players in there. But Shaq slowed down the entire process so badly. Richard Jefferson, to your point, to your point, brought this up, and I forgot about that. Name another player that has two or three players on the team. Name another team in history that had two or three players on the team, on each team, to stop one man in the league. That's oh, what Shaq was in the 2000s. Right, right, right. Hold on, I'm going to let you finish. That was a great point. Name a player in history where organizations was getting guys off the street just so they could foul this guy. So a lot of times you might see the early 2000s and you see a center or whatever it is that, oh, he was trash or whatever it was. Yeah, but they had a role and it was to stop Shaq. Get six fouls in there because there was nothing you could do about it. They didn't know how to ref the game. He wasn't right. going to be injured. He was one of these big, <laughs> these big monsters that didn't get injured. He's a freak of nature. Yes. Freak of yes. nature. Yes. So when Shaq talks like that, again, he talks about the G13 classifications. Right. Yeah, I that's love why. It. I love that's, it. That's why. And B, you ain't got none of that. You ain't got none of that. You ain't earned that yet. Your playoff performance is piss poor. And Shaq got swept out the finals four or five times. A lot of times. Don't get me wrong. He has a, he has a lot of he has a lot of chinks in his armor. But but he own, but he own, but give him credit. He owns up to it. See one thing. One thing I like about Shaq is he admits his faults. He admits the things he done wrong, and he also admits, "Hey, I'm not hating on the young guys. I'm trying to get you guys fired." I'm trying to add fuel to your fire, but y'all keep taking it as hate. I'm telling you, I was, bro, I was the best that ever did it. I'm telling you, the White Howard, Allah, MB, bro, you can average thirty, bro. That's eight points a quarter, thirty-two. You, why? Well, how you can't do that? So I'm sorry to cut you off, but yes, come on, bro, y'all dudes. But it goes to my point. Your fame. Nobody wants to be legendary and great, bro. I'm sorry. They don't. Shaq, God rest his, 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 his father's soul. Remember, that man told him, bro, what are you doing? Dunk the ball every time. Be great. Guys, back in them days, them older days, our era, they wanted to be legendary. These guys want to dance. They want to play on Instagram. They want to go to the strip club, which is nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying when you're on the court, can take every night to be legendary. And that's what Shaq is trying to tell these guys. Y'all have an opportunity to put y'all names up there with us. Do y'all care or don't y'all? And not to say that Shaq didn't take time off. Kobe hated his guts. Right. He fought because of the fact that he wasn't half the worker that, that Kobe was. Let's uh, uh, We are gonna we got to be honest about that, of course. But, and B... No, no, state it, state. No, no, state it. Just real quick. You see what Shaq, when he told the story about being in Miami, how him and Alonzo Mourning had the problem. Because remember, Alonzo Mourning ate right, was chiseled like a sculpture. You could draw him. And Shaq could come in and say, yeah, I could eat a whole bunch of burgers. So remember, it was a lot of guys that had problems with Shaq as far as him not taking himself too serious. 
Because once again, you causing us championships. Because, bro, just imagine if Shaq took his diet and everything dead serious. Bro, Shaq would have 10 championships, man. So, go ahead. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I just wanted to say it wasn't only Kobe. He also, and Shaq said this, as far as the little thing he had with Alonzo Mourning as well. So, go ahead. You were finished. I'm sorry. Nah, that was perfect because I forgot about that. And it just embodies like what we, that's what was missing with him. And I think that's what he's trying to say with Embiid. And again, when I made my bitter comment about 25-year-olds, you little young bitter boys, it ain't Embiid, to be honest with you. Embiid called out Ben Simmons, number one. Number two, when Shaq and Charles Barkley did call him out before, he was very, like, not honored, but he was, like, humbled by it. Like, damn, they said that about me? He was receptive to it. He accepted it. Yeah, he wasn't like you other young punks out here. And I like Embiid as a wrestler. We just, as fans, as spectators, as, as people who dissect the sport, and B, it ain't like you ain't got the talent to do this thing right here, man. But you need to show this in June, May, April. Right. Shaq did. He did. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Favorite perspective. Expected, so accepted. All boy reaction. They don't like. Un comentario. Y suscribe. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Hit those buttons, y'all, please. We out. Oh, ball suckers, 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 suckers.